My name is Randy, and I'm an artist and an actor. And today I want to introduce you to an artist that has influenced my work and the work that I do. Uh, you're going to be doing an activity with him because I'm going to pretend to be him. Uh, and you're going to need some materials. You're going to need a cereal box. And with a cereal box, you need to cut off one side of the box. You'll just need that one side. It doesn't have to be a cereal box, but some type of box that's made out of cardboard. You're going to need two paper cylinders. You're going to need some something to draw with. Some markers work pretty well. And you're going to need a pair of scissors. So with this material, you're going to be able to do the activity with Alexander Calder. I'm going to pretend to be Alexander Calder, and to pretend to be him, I'm going to put on this red shirt. He liked to wear red shirts. He liked bright colors. All right. Now, I'm pretending to be Alexander Calder. Ah, I want to welcome all of you all here to my studio. I've been working on a number of things, but uh, somebody wanted to know, well, how did you become an artist? And, well, my father was a sculptor. My grandfather was a sculptor. My mother was a painter. And I looked at the work that they were doing, and I said, this is really messy work. Because I'd go into the studio and there'd be clay and there'd be things all over the place. And it was such a mess. I said, I do not want to be a sculptor. But I, maybe I'll be more like a painter, more like my mother. And that's what I started doing. I started drawing and the drawing changed. But let me show you the kind of drawing I was doing. It's kind of a little bit different kind of drawing. I would put my marker down on the paper and it would stay on the paper the whole time I was doing the drawing. So, and then I'd lift it up and the drawing would be finished. I'll show you. So I'm gonna put my marker down. I think I'm gonna draw a picture of a face. So here's an eye, nose, another eye, ear. Another ear. We need some hair though. Oh, here's a neck. And there's my drawing. So I did the drawing with one line. I didn't pick up my marker at all until it was all finished. So I started doing drawings like this, and I was thinking, well, if I did drawings like this, maybe if I took a wire, and a wire is like one line, and if I bent the wire, then I can make sculpture that way. Oh no, I'm making sculpture. But it wasn't as messy, not like my grandfather, my father. So I started making sculpture that looked like this. See the elephant? It's one line. One piece of wire. And I made them like this. It's my bird. One line. And then I started making a circus. I was really intrigued with the circus. And I thought, it would be nice if I had my own circus. So I decided to make a miniature circus. It's a one ring circus. And here's the ring mask. Let's begin the circus. Madame and Mrs. I'd like to introduce you to the Circus Calder. And here for our act, I present the Lion Tamer. He will work with a ferocious creature. Here he is. Hello, hello, hello. Bring in the lion. Release the lion. Roar, roar, roar. Bring out the flaming hoop. I wonder what it's going to do. Light the hoop. Jump through the hoop. Roar. 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 Out 
much. Put out the loop. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah. Madame Monsieur, the lion tamer will now attempt to put his head into the very jaws of this fierce creature. Please be quiet. We don't want to disturb the creature. I wonder, it must be very wet and dark and sharp in there. I always wondered why it was bald. Give a bow. Oh, I hope you have enjoyed this short presentation of the Circus Calder. Thank you. Applause, applause, applause. The other thing that I started doing was when I was making the wire sculpture, I was doing things that I wanted them to move. And sitting on a table, they don't move very much. But I thought, if I hang them from the ceiling, they will move. So I started making sculpture out of wire uh, and metal that would hang from the ceiling. And these are called mobiles, because they moved around. Now, I want to make a toy with you, which a toy is a kind of a sculpture. And remember the materials you're going to need. So I've got my cereal box side. I've got some drawing materials. I've got two cardboard tubes and my pair of scissors. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw an animal on here. And the animal will be, it's a four-legged animal that we're doing today, making toys up. There we go. So I'm going to start by drawing the body, and the body would be like a big rectangle like that. Then I can draw a head. My head can be a circle. And we're not drawing legs, we're gonna make the legs. Then this will have a tail. I think I'm doing a cat. Ears. And then I, oh, what's it, it's missing eye? Maybe mouth, maybe whiskers. And there might be spots on this cat. So I've drawn my animal without the legs. Then I'm going to cut that out. So you can be drawing yours and cutting yours out too. You're gonna make it pretty big. You don't want a little scrumpy animal. Use all the cardboard. How are you doing cutting? You might have somebody help you if you need any help. That's no problem. So I have my animal that I cut out. Without legs, these are going to be the legs, and that way it can stand up. You've got your animal. Now for the legs. I'm going to take my tube, and I'm going to squeeze it on one side, and I'm going to cut. I'm going to draw a mine to show you where I'm going to cut it. You see, I squeeze it, and I'm just going to cut a little bit in there. So I cut like that. I'm going to do that on the other one. And cut. You've got both your tubes with cuts down both sides. Since these are going to be the legs, then all I have to do is take my creature here and put it into the slots. Sometimes it's tricky. And now I have my animal that's standing up. So now it's become a sculpture. It's gone from a drawing, and now it's become a sculpture because it's standing up. I hope you've enjoyed making your own sculpture of your animal. And if you made a number of them, you could have a, a whole menagerie of animals. Thank you.
for coming into my studio. I'm going to take my, my shirt off and I'm going to go back to being Randy. Well, I hope you enjoyed visiting with Alexander Calder and making your toy animal. Uh, why do you think I did this with you? Yeah, I wanted you to meet other artists. And I've learned from artists, and I'm hoping that you'll be able to learn from other artists, too. What do you think you could do next? Yeah, you could make more animals. You could have a parade of animals. Uh, your animals could become uh, part of uh, a, a whole jungle that you create. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I want you to keep on making art and being creative and enjoy art that you find all over the world. Thank you.